now that you understand uh, what a future value of annuity looks like, how we're putting in regular contributions and we're coming up with uh, what my investment is worth at the end of a period of time, you might want to think about it like saving up to go to schoolies, perhaps if you put some money in now and you started saving away, then by the time it comes to schoolies, you'll have a decent amount of money in. The other type of work that we need to know is what we call a present value of annuity. And present value means what should I put into an account now that will give me the same amount of money as if I invested um, regular contributions into a future value annuity. So the present value means the principal or the initial amount of the investment. And the present value of annuity is a single sum of money or principal that you could invest today at the same compound interest rate as the annuity to produce the same future value over the same time period. Okay, so there is a formula for this and it's written just here. Now the thing is you don't need to know this formula. Okay, this is a formula that you did used to know in the old general course, but now we don't need to know it. But I've put it here because I've given you also some instructions, because I wouldn't mind it if you would actually have a go at producing the same um, Excel spreadsheet that I've produced in these notes, and that would appear in your HSC. So, here is what a table looks like. It's very similar to the table we had before, but it's got different numbers in it. And the most important thing to read first is we have the present value okay of one dollar so this could change depending on how they're going to ask the question but this is saying present value of one dollar what do i have to invest now to get the same as what i would have if i put in my regular contributions so once we have a table all we need to do is able to add we have to answer some questions so let's have a look at them. Leon invests 720 per year into an annuity at 6% per annum for eight years with interest compounded annually. So we know the interest is compounded annually. Okay, so we're saying what is the actual amount of money that I have to put in right now that's going to give me the same value as putting in contributions of 750 per year. So if I think about it, my present value is because that's what I'm looking at. 6% per annum for 8 years. So go back to my table. I've got 6% per annum for 8 years. And you can see it is this one here. And I think I've got way too many decimal places on my table. But we can go with it. So it's 6.209794. So the present value, which is how much money I need to invest now, which is going to give me the same amount of money as putting in these regular contributions, is the amount that one dollar grows to and times that by 750 because they're my contributions and if I do that I get an answer of four thousand six hundred and fifty seven dollars exactly so four thousand six hundred and fifty seven dollars I have to put into an account now at 6% per annum for 8 years and at the end of that 8 years it's going to give me the same amount of money as if I put in $750 per year. Okay, so let's have a look at the next one. Mia is saving for, saving for a holiday and deposits $1,200 into an account at the end of every 6 months for 5 years. The account pays 8% per annum compounded half yearly. So my rate is 8% but it's compounded half yearly, so we know we have to divide by 2, so we get 4%. My time periods, well, it's 5 years, but it's every 6 months. So that means I'm going to times it by 2, because it means it's going to happen twice per year. So I get my time periods 10. So from the table, if I was to look up the table, and you can all do that because you have it in front of you, you get 8.1109. So the present value then is going to be 8.1109 times by 1,200 and I'm going to get $9,733.08. So that's how much money I have to put in right now rather than putting in $1,200. Okay, so let's have a look at the next question then. The next question says that Emma uh, borrowed 
$3,000 at 12% repayable quarterly. So she's borrowing money and it's 12% per annum repayable quarterly over two years to pay for a holiday to celebrate the end of school. How much will she pay per quarter? So let's have a look at it. So we now know that the present value is $3,000. And we know our rate is 12%, but it's paid quarterly. So we should divide that by four to get my rate to be 3%, so now it's in quarters. My time period is two years, but it's paid in quarters. So if I multiply that by four, I get eight. And I also can now read from the table, I can look up 3% for eight time periods that $1 gets me 7.0197. So, present value equals the number from the table times monthly, yearly amount. So what that is saying to me is the present value is now 3,000 the number from the table is 7.0197 and I don't know what that yearly amount of money that I would have been putting into my future value in year to years. So I don't know what that's called so let's just call that A because it's an amount that I'm contributing. So now I have a simple equation which I'm going to solve and when I solve it I get A and it's approximately equal to um, $427.37. That's roughly what I would have to invest per month. Okay, so this is quite a big step forward. So there's two things going on. I want you to think about it, replay the video, make sure you totally understand, and then get on with the work from your textbook. If you have any questions, you know where to find me.